we are officially at day five of our gut healthy challenge or i guess it's not a challenge it's like a webinar why it just make, like my camera is good when i'm starting and then like as soon as i come on here it gets shift, shifted don't know if any of you know what that is let's see is there like a button i can switch it to viewing comments anyways today we are going to be chatting about how to apply all of this stuff on the go. So if you're someone that feels like, oh, I have to carry my Tupperware or my digestive enzymes and my bitters, and you're just like carrying all your crap with you all the time and not knowing how to do it, and you're like walking down the grocery store aisles and you're afraid of going out to eat or like you're looking at food and you're like, what is this? And can I eat this? Like, I don't know what this is. Um, I feel you, we are going to be getting into that today. Just as a reminder, the Gut Accelerator Program, my eight-week one-on-one coaching program, is open for enrollment right now. So if you have been tuning in and you're wondering, how do I, how do I do this? You can apply those spots fill up every month. And I only open them for a little bit of time. And just before the holiday season, I mean, why not enjoy yourself? So you can apply now. Um, that link is in the comments or in the description of this video, but I will drop it in the comments right now for you guys to get in there. Um, so let's see. Do, 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 right here. There we go. Okay. So, are you guys ready? So, my name is Laura Martin. If you guys don't know me yet and this is your first time tuning in, I am the creator of Healing the Happy. I create digital courses helping women that are suffering from anxiety and IBS to heal using food with simple rules. Like, I don't do eliminations or all that kind of crap and like food sensitivity tests. It's like that stuff never gets you to the root cause of what is actually like it's great and you feel better at first because you're starving out the bacteria but my main mission is why is that bacteria there to begin with so if that's new to you you can go check out all the other videos from um this week where i dive deeper into that we talked about um why you fluctuate between constipation and diarrhea and how to get um predictable bowel movements um we talked about food sensitivities we talked about the gut brain connection and we talked about <laughs> shit <laughs> And we talked about what is Tuesday. Um, can someone remind me? That's embarrassing. Um, let's see. So we talked about food. Talked about eating on the go. Food sensitivities. Um, gut brain connection. And um, oh, why I don't believe in the food sensitivities. Hi. Why I don't believe in food sensitivity testing or candida cleanses or elimination diets or any of that kind of stuff. So. Go back and watch any of that stuff if you haven't tuned in and saw all that stuff. But today we're going to be getting into, there is so much information in this digital world and it can be overwhelming and not knowing where to start and feeling like a deer in headlights. I don't know if that like resonates with you. It's just like anytime you look up um, gut health and all that kind of stuff, there's just so many people out there and different gurus and different things of how to apply it and not knowing what to do. And so it can be overwhelming. Like, do you go gluten-free? Do you cut out dairy? Do you cut out any of that stuff? And that's exactly how I felt. Like, it started with, you know, just cleaning up my diet, doing that, and then it eliminated, uh, and, like, eliminating, like, sugars and processed food, and then it got into, like, eliminating cheese and then gluten and then soy, shellfish, eggs, <laughs> legumes, grains, um, carbs, like, I, it just kept feeling like every time I eliminated one thing, I needed to eliminate 18 other things. And it got so bad that I actually ended up eliminating 13 different food groups. And that made it really difficult to go out to eat. Like, I, it made it so hard. And I was at a point in my life where I went, I stopped going out to eat. Like, I would only cook at home because I could control the menu. And if I did go out to eat, I would eat beforehand. So I didn't actually go out to eat. I would just sit at the table with my friends. But I wasn't actually present because I was thinking about all the food that I wanted to be eating but wasn't eating. And then if I did eat it, it was like the food hangover was the worst part. Like, my body didn't, like... Of course, like but my digestive enzymes and stuff, it maybe rubbed up a bit, but it was like that stress. Like I couldn't stop thinking about it. And then if I didn't eat it, I would then think about it for like five days and then end up like 
going hand on some like peanut butter or trail mix. Like it was just, a, <laughs> it was not fun. And that's what it does, right? Gut healing, it can feel overwhelming and isolating. So what I want to give you and what I give my girlies in the gut accelerator program is practical tools, right? So that this can become a lifestyle. This can be something that makes you feel so alive and fresh and abundant and like just like has this like orgasmic magnetic energy that everyone deserves because that's that's your birthright. That is what you deserve to have. And yes, when your body feels like it's working against you, you forget that. And my biggest thing that I preached to all my girlies is like, you cannot be at war with your body and win. And you cannot manipulate it. You cannot fight it. It's all these kind of things. Because at the end of the day, if your body is showing you through digestive flare-ups, if your body is showing you through mood swings, if your body is showing you through skin throw-ups, throw up, <laughs> flare-ups, it is communicating to you that something is off. That's a, that's a beautiful thing, right? Like, that is something we should not be fighting against. That is something that we should surrender to and just be like, hey, okay, so this is this is what's happening. This is what feels good and celebrate that. And that's hard when we're in the heaps of it and <laughs> it hurts, right? It's hard to think of anything when your body actually physically feels pain. So I'm pulling out my checklist right now. Sorry, that's not up right now. There we go. And so, Step one of what I want you guys to do, because this is a problem, right? It's starting to inf impact our day-to-day -day living. It's starting to impact things that are important to us. Maybe your relationships are getting affected. Maybe your workouts, maybe your just general work life, any of that kind of stuff. The first step that I want you guys to understand is forgiveness and um, intention, right? Like, like I said, your body is always trying to communicate with you. And so when it's speaking up and when say you go out to eat and maybe you ate something that is on your bad list like one those don't exist like there is no bad food and i know that's hard because everything out there tells you like no gluten go no dairy no corn no chocolate like fuck that i want chocolate i literally put chocolate in my coffee in the morning and as i do it i put it in there and i go because i love myself <laughs> and i do like it tastes better that way um, anyways, so forgiveness and intention, and that's the step one of understanding why it's life, right? Like you're not always going to get it perfect and no one is expecting you to No one, right? Like you need to understand you're doing the best that you can with every step that you're given. And as long as you have that intention, right? Like you have the intention to be better every day, like, okay, like, this is where I always do check-ins with my clients. Like, well, I don't, I ask them to do it. I don't check in on them every day. Um, but to check in at the end of the day and just be like, okay, so where did I go right? What put me on track for that? And where did I go wrong? And what's the thing that set me off, right? But often we, we know we're in these cycles of like binge restrict, binge restrict, but we're not checking in with ourselves to figure out what actually set us off in that path. And so when you can course correct you can you can this is where step two comes in is being a little bit more aware so first is giving yourself permission grace to be fucking human like you are human you are living a human experience and you are allowed to live in those moments and that's okay you don't set yourself completely off track and you don't have to, like it's okay you're learning at each step and that's the second step is becoming more aware right like understand that each one of these hiccups and oh my whenever my girlies in the gut accelerator like message me or hit me up on boxer and they're like i did this this weekend like oh i'm so mad and i'm like that is great and they get so confused <laughs> because that is a point in your life where you learn right like you learn something new about yourself and you're like okay so what did I learn? Obviously, I don't like this feeling. Otherwise, I wouldn't be complaining about it, right? And then you get to sit there and you go, oh, cool. Okay, so what led me to that point of needing to escape? What led me to that point of feeling like I needed to binge or remove myself from this whatever diet plan you're on? Like, what was that point? And where can we go back to that and course correct? Because it clearly was too strict for you that you felt the need to binge or escape or any of that kind of stuff. So when you can tune back in and be like, oh, cool. Like, this is where I need to learn and that this is where I need to um, fix that moment. That's when you become more aware, okay? And so that's step two. Step three is applying your um, learned, what did I write down? Applying learned knowledge and knowing what questions to ask. So 
as you go through gut healing journey, you learn all of this stuff, right? And so when you're asking yourself these questions, you're able to course correct, but as well when you're going to your doctors, when you are going out to eat, when you are going to a part, I don't know. I don't know why I could say anything to party, but like if you're just out of your own control and you're in the gra grasps of others, I see a lot of people lose confidence because they don't know what to do. So they isolate themselves. And I did the same thing. Like I didn't know the questions asked. I didn't know how to go out to eat so that it would fit my comfort levels. Like, yes, I'm like at first it was totally obsessive, but like now I know how to go out to eat and I know wherever I go. I will always have something to eat. I will always know the questions to ask the chefs. I will always know how to, even if I just look at a menu and I can make my own dishes and all that. And that's exactly what I walk my girlies through in Gut Recharge or in Gut Accelerator. I actually have one of my clients, um, actually a male, and he his like feedback <laughs> are like check in and he's like, I just feel so much more confident going to a restaurant. Like I know how to say something and like he had he was just like explaining his dishes to me and he's like, you know, like I hope you don't mind, but I'm not gonna write to you every day with your my food diary because like I feel confident that I understand my nutrition now and I can go out to eat and I can do this stuff without feeling overwhelmed. And I'm like oh. That is the shit I love. Like when you can understand how you can apply this learned knowledge, not, not feel trapped by it, right? But feel so empowered and aligned and just like, oh, I got this. Like I can enjoy life and heal my gut at the same damn time. That is freedom, my friend. And that is exactly what should be in this life. Like, yes, okay, we can't just go and like, eat pieces and burgers and all the kind of stuff all the time, but like we can have that sometimes because a healthy body can digest all foods. And if once you understand how, and what we've talked about the last four days is how you get the digestive enzymes up and how you get your stomach acid, right? So like sometimes your body is gonna, you're gonna eat stuff that like you don't normally eat, but yet your body can digest it. And I was referring to like my birthday was on Monday and this last weekend, like I wanted to make a cheese platter and I wanted to have cake and I wanted to do this. And like, it was so nice that my family didn't have to be concerned of like, could you eat this? Could you eat that? It was just like, here's what we got. And it felt so good. And I woke up in the morning and bowel movements were fine. My body was fine. Like energy, mood stable, like all that kind of, yes, I was a little bit tired because I wasn't in my routine, but still like how awesome is that? And like being able to have that freedom and not being worried about food going out, but like just knowing like, oh, I got this. Like I freaking got this. I know how to go out. I know how to move my body. I know how to make decisions that are aligned with who I am and what I want to eat. Oh, that is freedom, my friend. Like that is how you set yourself free and welcome yourself home. Okay, so that's step three. Step four is releasing the need to get it perfect. Okay, release that, my friend sit here and just like wipe it clean and just be like, okay, I'm going to figure this shit out. Like, and I'm going to do the best that I can for the body that I have. But perfection, like you're setting yourself up for failure if that's what you're looking for. And like, trust me, I tried that and I went crazy, like crazy. One, I was so caught up in getting it perfect that I didn't see the signals of my body being like, ma'am, this isn't working. Like, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> it's not me, it's you. Um, like, I wasn't listening to my energy levels. I was so hungry and so just like my moods were all over the board. God bless my boyfriend at that time. <laughs> like, God, I was crazy. And like going out to eat with like friends and stuff, they just, I, I was so picky and like didn't go, I rarely went and they were like, are you sure? Like, this is so uncomfortable. And even now, like, as I see, as I'm posting stuff more on this subject, so many people are giving love and being like, yeah, we didn't really know how to talk to you about it. And I'm sure a lot of people around you guys feel that way too, right? Like they don't know how to have the conversation. Like you think this whole bubble and you're like, it's healthy. Like I have built this web around myself and this is healthy. This is fine. It's not like if people are continually asking, like, can you eat this? I'm like feeling on edge about your food stuff. Um, it's that perfectionist mind mindset. It's that control because at the end of the day, a healthy body can digest all types of food because when you get that stomach to be like a battery acid girl, it just mutilates that shit. Like it's not every day because that's what dulls it. But 
when you get it down the foundations, which is exactly what we walk you through, right? Like we get the foundations and we get that up. You can just, you can be present. You get your life back and you feel free and you feel at home and you have the space to actually like go try new hobbies and go on dates and like have this orgasmic magnetic life that you are deserving of, right? Like this is, that is what life is about. You get to have this just space, this free space to think about anything else but food. That is freedom. That is freedom. Okay. So this is the four things I wanted to cover. And then, you know, there's some stuff on like reintroduction and understanding how you reintroduce stuff and understanding like removing gut irritants and having the gut healing foods and all that kind of stuff, which I have plenty of resources on. But today I really want to talk about the mindset because the mind is the first thing, guys. Like when you release these rules and I know it feels safe, it feels safe to be within an elimination diet or some type of diet, like, or some cleanse. Like I chased that rat, rat race so hard. I remember sitting when I was teaching one of my coworkers, Fiona, if you're watching, um, was, she sat there and she was just like, it's like, what cleanse are you on this week? And she was like making a joke. And I reflect back on that moment so often because I wasn't on cleanse every Monday. Like I was, Every month, I would try a like 30 days, some type of thing, experimenting with food. Every Monday, I was on like some like reset because I had done something bad to my body over the weekend. Um, and I was in these really strict tendencies and to be able to sit in freedom and expansion and to get up and travel and have spontaneity in life again and do just connect with people on a different level and have control over emotions because I'm not hungry or starving or any of that stuff is incredible. And that's what I see so many of my girlies in Gary. Like I said, like the check-ins that I have with the clients that I currently have and they've been like, like the newest one, she's two weeks in. Um, the um, other one, another one is coming up on six weeks. And like in that short amount of time, the freedom, the expansion, the going out to eat, plus like their cholesterol levels, their cortisol levels, their hormones are balancing, like that's signs that the food is actually being metabolized and used, like we're looking at like metabolic function and all that kind of stuff. But seeing that, but the more, like the most beautiful side of it is that they get their life, they're traveling again, they're going out to eat, they're meeting new people, like that's joy, that is pleasure, that is such a freaking gift. So. If you are ready for that, my friend, I invite you to apply for the eight week get recharge program because you deserve the freedom. You deserve all that stuff. And these spaces do fill quickly throughout the month. And I only take a few time, few clients on per month and it's an eight weeks. So by we go through the eight weeks and by the end of it, you will be able to be within your holidays with food freedom and expansion and to actually be there because we're getting out of quarantine. We have the time, we have the space and we actually want to be there with our family right? Not thinking about food, not thinking about, can I have that? Can I have that? Or like focusing on that food hangover that lingers days after where you don't even remember what was happening on the holiday because you were too busy thinking about the food you didn't eat. So if that sounds like something for you, I invite you to apply for the eight week gut accelerator program. And someone from my team or myself will reach out to you, set up a call with me, and we'll jump on, we'll see if it's a good fit, and we'll get going. You'll have your whole online portal where you get all the tools, right? We have the restaurant, restaurant guide, we have the breaking up with FODMAP little black book, we have your whole online portal, you get access to the Gut Recharge program, you get access to a Facebook group and like coaching calls every other week, you have access for Voxer, so like say you do go out to eat and you don't know what to eat, you're just like, shoot me a little Voxer note, I'm right there with you, you have recipes and guides, treat sheets, what else do you have? There's so much, guys. I'll actually post it in the group later and you guys can look at it and see if it calls to you because it's everything I wish I would have had. Everything. Because it's everything that set me free, like my, all my face plants over the years. This, everything that's in that is just like, oh, so powerful and so incredibly empowering. So this has been such a fun five days, guys. And I love sharing my heart with you guys and this journey and all that kind of stuff. So I hope this was valued to you. I would love to hear from you guys if you're watching the replay right now. What 
your favorite day was, which one connected with you the most. So I will chat with you soon. Happy healings. <laughs>